Hi guys, this is Practifile and uh, yeah, we are going to have a look at the Binary Acoustics Dyna Quattro. Binary is known for the first collab, I think, with Timmy, the Chopin. Yeah, let's let's just, just get ahead of, of, of everything. This one is um, right off the bat, it's it's a warm I am, very well implemented vase. For me, very good tonality overall. It's it's you know it's impressive. It's impressive for this kind of setup. It's a four DD, and I think they've done a good job with this. And let's just move on to the objectives. That's a nice sounding motorbike. And yeah, anyhow, for the graph, you can see the graph here. Yeah, as you can see, the overall tonality is kind of like balanced, leaning to warm. And immediately, you'll notice that there's not enough treble extension or treble sparkle or something, whatever you might call it. And it's, it's like that. And is it bad? Well, let's talk about my scoring overall, how it sounds. So, oh, by the way, thank you so much, HiFiGo, for sending these over, this for tour. You might check it out. The price of these is 260. I did mention somewhere in my comments that this should not be priced over 300 because I thought it's gonna be overpriced if it's over 300. And well, it's 259, 260. So yeah, just just around what I expected it to be. So yeah. For the tonality, let's talk about the tonality. Tonality on these are actually it's very close to my balance target, especially with you know like the bass and the gain. It does have a little bit of elevation in the bass, but it's very well implemented. I can you know it's it's warm. It's just it's emphasizing the bass. Very good tonality. Very smooth treble, I'd say. So it's it's a very easy listen. So for tonality, it's not perfect for me. I would have liked it to have a bit of treble forwardness. You know, it's not that I'm a treble head, but sometimes those crashes are just missing something and sometimes they're far, but at least it's better than being splashy or being piercing, right? So uh, for tonality, I'm giving it 2.5. For the bass, man, like, oh God, like the bass on these are reminded me of the EA-1000s and the EM-10s. It's just very visceral, very realistic in decay. It's just very good, a very good balance of mid bass and sub bass. I was um, like listening to a track by, what was that? Coheed and Cambria, like the colors. Oh God, like those bass lines, whew, they, they're, just, they're just very textured. I mean, it's easy to catch notes. You, you gotta listen to it, you know? Like, I'm not saying you buy it, but if you get the chance to listen to it, whew, you, it's just it's just crazy good like it's not even for me it's not even like it's not overpowering bass it's just that the presence of it makes it like you're listening to a physical subwoofer you're you're in a room with with a subwoofer it's just very great um, so yeah for the bass on these definitely a three i like the bass on these oh I, I did i mention also like even though the bass is it's elevated but it decays pretty quick and it doesn't linger compared to other iems let's say for example the da vinci you know it has elevated bass but the bass is kind of slow and lingers a bit longer i noticed this in the track just a face by incubus around 411 poof the bass one there man it's just pretty pretty impressive yeah, moving on to the mids though. Mids on these are, I'd say, yeah, they're they're naturally sounding vocals. They're not edgy. Probably a little bit of just a little bit of tendency to be shouty because you can see that in the gain there. There's a little bit of elevation, um, but it's because it, the treble doesn't extend well, so it probably it helps it a bit of not being shouty. But for me, overall, male sounded good. Female vocals sounded. They're fine. I mean, like it would have been better if had if it had like maybe a little bit of treble extension. But for me, it still sounded natural. I mean, I I, I always kind of like choose or gravitate towards being natural sounding than being technically competent. So I'm fine with that. So I'm kind of like you know analog sounding, organic sounding preference type of guy. So the midst of these, I'd say it's a three. Instruments sounded good. You know, guitars. I love I love it. I just love it. Treble is probably gonna be 2.5 they're safely tuned probably a bit too smooth and maybe because also of the bass presence it's kind of like it's not that it prevents it from coming up it's just that the presence of the bass makes you forget about the treble if that makes sense however even if it doesn't really extend well i i like the timbre on cymbals on these 
It's not that the treble is muted, but it's just because of you know, the elevated bass that makes you forget about the treble. For example, it's like you're a treble head and you're gonna listen to these. It's like you're gonna be converted to a kind of like a warm head or a bass head just because of how good the bass is. But I'm not discounting the treble. I still think the treble is well, Im well implemented in these. So maybe people might want more air. So that's why I'm thinking it's not really a perfect three. It's just a 2.5 for the treble. Maybe some people might think this is the weakest point of this I am, but for me, it's just you know, just the overall balance, you know, maybe a little bit of bass would have would have helped the treble have it more presence, you know. So 2.5 for the treble. Text, oh man, this is so hard to drive. It's so hard to drive. Like what we even when what's that like measuring and I use my what like a dongle for that. What I forgot which dongle was that? I forgot. But anyhow, yeah, it, it's just not enough to to drive it. You know, I had to use the Apple the Apple dongle, Snowy Night. Yeah, j just to get some proper volumes w when measuring it. So it, it does scale with power. It, it sounds more open when you run it with you know 4.4 if you believe that. But yeah, just for me, it is. If you use 3.5, it's just kind of like closed in, but it opens up. Maybe it's also because of my source. I'm using the M3X, but yeah, it, it has a very good stage, 3D like presentation, uh, very good instrument separation. It, it's it's good. It's it's good. Like you, you don't have to try to enjoy music. Like you don't have to imagine that 3D stage. It's just good. But I do think that the treble. You know, the smoothness of the treble hinders a little bit of, you know, its projection because it doesn't have that much air. So for the text, I'm giving it 2.5 for the text. Overall, this is what? 3.13.5 and that's an A plus for me, you know, almost an S ranker. I, I think this is, you know, fair for me. Um, I really like this set though. And um, just a 0.5 difference to S probably because maybe the price if it was like i don't know like 150 or maybe like 200 dollars it can be an s ranker but i just rank it a plus because there are many ims cheaper than these that that, that i think that are what they're also capable of of being great so let's move on to comparisons here and when i first listened to this it immediately reminded me of the critical reds yeah and you know as you can see that there oh. maybe an improved critical red if you like the critical reds timbre it's it's i don't know like for me i don't know it just felt like the red on steroids <laughs> basically almost identical base shelf a little bit of gain there you know probably to compensate for the treble smoothness but yeah i immediately oh my god this is you know this is very close to the red so if you like the critical red this is a great upgrade really good really good um yeah that's what i can say another thing i can compare it with is probably the uh probably the do you know falcon ultra they're in the pr same price range i also like the base with you know of the falcon ultra however um the falcon ultra is just if if you improve the dyna quattro's dynamics like especially in the treble you'd get the 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 you know the falcon ultra and let me pull up the graph here falcon ultra there see that you know it, it's it's pretty similar right only that the uh, falcon ultra has more treble details and probably the Dyna Quattro has more sub bass presence but it, it's not it's not meant to say that the bass on the falcon ultra is bad it's also actually very good, but it's just that I think that the Dyna Quattro's bass, I mean, it, it just does it better. That's, that's what I think. But if, if you're more into like more balance, have more treble than probably the Falcon Ultra, if you just want warm, like very fun bass, then the, 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 I think the Dyna Quattro is, is a good fit. For other stuff, like maybe more expensive stuff, or not really more expensive, I have the High Senior here. I have it here because, why is it here though? I don't know, maybe it's because of the price, um, because you can get it for cheaper, and um, it's also warm, it also has relaxed treble. Let me just pull up the graph, there you go. Doesn't really have that much gain. This has more sub bass, this is more balanced in a way that it doesn't have much, I mean, it, the sub bass doesn't extend much, lesser gain, but yeah, I, I think you can't go wrong with any of these, it's just that if you really wanna focus more on the bass, 
I think the Dyna Quattro is more fit for that. If you want more balanced sounding, and at the same time you don't like that treble sparkle, just relaxing, then maybe the, the, the Mega 5P because they're around in the, in the, they're, they are in the same price range. So let's move on to more expensive stuff here. Let's see, I have the, the you know, the Da Vinci. Do I have the Chopin here? Oh yeah, let me just get the Chopin. Right, before the Chopin, the Da Vinci, this is more expensive, around probably $50 more expensive. This is a dual DD on the bass, but I think the uh, the Dyna Quattro does it better. As I've mentioned, the Da Vinci's bass is more, how do I say? It's slower in decay. It's not as tight as I wanted it to be, but the Da Vinci though has more nuance and you know, more air because it has a, it has BAs, you know, to do that, this one here, it's a 4DD driver, so I don't know, like for me, if you want more balance, cleaner mid-range, great for vocals, I think the Da Vinci is great for that. Here though, it's more warm. It's just if you like bass, if you like bass, man, this is the one to get. Like, I, I, I'd be, I, I can end game this one for, for bass, like literally, like this is really great. The Chopin though, let me just pull up the Chopin here. Um, the graph of the Chopin, let's see. Chopin's bass is cleaner. They're more, they're probably similar in gain with the sub bass, but it's cleaner. It's tuned by Timmy and it's always been like that because it, it's always about like he, his library, you know, has a lot of females in it. So it's gonna be great for everything. This is cheaper and if you like, if you like just sub bass fun and treble and cheaper chopin is to get but again man the dd on these is i mean the bass on these ugh. this wins on the bass man like i think w w this is one of the best bass i have in iams along with the ea 1000 and the what's this the em10 here the em10 let's see the em10 em10 though oh my god like em10 has more bass but it doesn't really sound like it has more bass it also has more treble energy um for the em10 it's more expensive too oh this is a tough choice though because like you just pay extra to get like a more balanced sound with the em10 it's tough man like if you like balanced sound with like treble maybe the em10 is to get but if you're sensitive to treble the dyna quattro but i do feel like you get more like if you don't like treble energy, you don't like treble energy that much, you think you can save with the Dyna Quattro, especially if you like bass. This is just value, I think. Because I can't think of any cheaper than that. I mean, the Apple Explorer is also very good for its price, but I don't know, it's just, it's a differently tuned IM. Yeah, those are my thoughts about the Dyna Quattro, man. Like it's overall, it's just a very good sounding set. And if you like bass, again, whoo, this is, this is, yeah, you, you listen to this and bass.